Jonelle here. We're going to be going over the educational setting offer of fate page today. So let's go ahead and get started. One of the first things you're going to see when you start on this page is they're asking about physical education. <clears throat> here is where you're going to want to indicate what type of PE they're receiving. General education, right here, or general, sorry. Um, if they're participating in general education PE, specially designed right here is if they have adapted PE or there is other where you can indicate if they have um, a modified schedule or if they've met their uh, PE requirements or if they even have a doctor's excusal to excuse them from completing PE, but they do have to complete uh, at least two years of physical education for a requirement for high school graduation, okay? Um, as you can see here, district of service is grayed out and you cannot change this. So this is already auto-populated from um, the system, the student information system. The school of attendance right here. This is changeable, but you want to make sure that you're keeping it as is because during a change of placement or when a student rolls up, it will automatically change through our system. If you change it currently, you will actually lose access to the student. Um, but on the, on the hard copy of the IEP, as you're holding it, and in the notes, you can go ahead and write in the new school because eventually once the, the change of placement process goes through the system, then it will auto populate through that. Okay. The question, all special education services provided at the school of residence. So you're either going to mark yes or no. Please make sure that just because it's their school of attendance does not mean it's their school of residence. So make sure based off of the student's address that they're attending either their school of residence, which is their home school, or if they're attending a program that's not at their home school, you're going to mark no and indicate why. Okay, so if the no is checked, make sure that you're providing an explanation such as student has been overloaded due to lack of space in the general education classroom at his home school or at the home school or specialized academic instruction programming is required for the student is not available at the student's school of residence. So just be wary if you're marking yes then you do not need anything in here but if it's no you need to explain why. Okay. As we scroll down this preschool program setting ages three through five including those in TK and kindergarten, please make sure that you're talking to your program specialist about how to complete these. Um, it varies depending on school. So pay attention to um, if you do serve preschool students, then make sure that you are connecting with your program specialist um, about how to complete these. I don't want to give a sample because it does vary uh, by school setting, okay? Once you roll into program settings, so this is similar to what the preschool is, but um, in general for the program setting, it's ages six and older, uh, as long as the student has an IEP. So there is a drop down menu right here. Okay, so any student that's on a comprehensive campus, you're going to want to choose code 400, which is regular classroom in a public day school. Okay, I'm not going to go over the rest of them. Just if you're on a comprehensive campus within Fremont Unified, that's what you're going to be choosing. Um, percentage of time is outside the regular class and extracurricular and non-academic activities. As you can see, this one is grayed out, so you're going to need to fill in this section. Percentage of time the student is in the regular class and extracurricular and non-academic activities. So when you're filling this in the regular classes, this is how much they are actually within 
the general education population. So we want to remember that students should be considered general education students first and only removed from the general ed when deemed appropriate by their IEP team. The team is responsible to ensure the students are engaging to the maximum extent possible with their non-disabled peers, which is the reason why we focus on the amount of time that they're in gen ed. So for our student, Sarah Brown, she is in 10th grade and, sorry, a sophomore in 10th grade in high school. Um, so she is in the regular class 90% of the time and 10% is when she's uh, being provided specialized academic instruction within um, her core support class, okay? So this button, the IEP team is prepared, or is prepared to project additional program setting if the IEP team is recommending a different program setting, please make sure that you're discussing this with your program specialist. This area is to be completed if there are changes such as a transition or a change of placement where the percentages from one setting to another end up being different. So for example, if I have a student who is transitioning from elementary into middle school, the percentages can go from 40% to 50% general education. So if I check this box, it gives me a start date, the program setting, and the percentage. So if my student is leaving elementary school and going to be starting in seventh grade in August, we would roll into August, and usually it's the last Wednesday of August, so let's just say August 26th. The program setting, again, is going to be 400. And when she rolls into junior, junior high, let's say the student is going from 70% in the gen ed and now will be at 85. So you would have an original, what they're currently receiving, and then what we are projecting them to have when they roll into a transition. Okay, but I'm not going to keep this. Oh, I need to delete. Bear with me. Sorry. Thank you, guys. <laughs> um, please. Sorry. Um, as we roll a little further, student will not participate in the regular class and extracurricular non-academic activities. This is where you're going to want to indicate what they will be participating in for special education and explain why in the box below. So, for example, um, a student has been unable to access their curriculum in areas requiring reading comprehension. She's able to access curriculum in a small group in a small group environment and requires more support in these areas that can be provided in a general education classroom. So we're saying that at this time she's going to need special education services in and what we need. So right now she's going to be one period of course support because and then we're telling them why. Okay. So other agencies and services you want to indicate here what services the family is connected with or if they're receiving services from any of these programs here. Um, please remember that if any of these are checked that you are once a school year that you're obtaining um, parent authorization for a release of information to speak with the other agencies. So it's usually a double-sided process when we have a release of information filled out on our side from Fremont Unified, the agency has the parents fill out one on their side as well. So we have the ability to talk to one another and share information. So make sure before you're sharing information with any of these agencies that your family is working with or receiving services from that you have a release of information filled out. Okay. As we look down, we have promotional criteria. Um, District is for students that are in standard-based programs and are on diploma track. Progress on goals is usually in um, a functional life skills program or a program that is leading to a certificate of completion. Okay, and then 
we have also other. It could include any extenuating circumstances determined by the IEP team. We rarely use other. It's not saying that um, we never use it, but if your student is on diploma track, you'd want to click on district. Okay. If your student is in a program that would be leading to a certificate of completion, then it would just be progress on goals. How will parents be informed of progress? So everyone needs to make sure that this is checked because this is how we provide updates on how the student is progressing on their goals. Um, you'd want to check quarterly for any secondary programs and trimester for any elementary or preschool sites. We don't use semester because by that point, the quarterly system covers our semester. And you can also indicate um, any other information in here, but you, need to, you do need to check either quarterly or trimesterly, okay? How, so how will the family be provided information? So you have to make sure that this is checked, okay? Progress summary report. This is how we get information on how the student's progressing on their goals. It is possible to add report cards here, but you cannot only just check other and write report cards. You do have to have some sort of progress summary report. How are we measuring that they're making progress on their goals? So we have to, with every report card, we provide a progress summary report that is attached to the report card and it's sent home. So you can't just mark other and mark report card and be fine with that. It has to be a summary report, progress report, and if you want to mark other and provide report card information as well, that's fine. Okay. And the last section is activities to support transition. Um, Previously, I talked about transitioning from maybe preschool into um, TK or kindergarten. Then you have elementary going into junior high or middle school, and then from middle school, junior high to high school. So in here, this is where you're going to want to indicate what you or the team has done to support any of these transitions. For example, if a student is moving to a new school, maybe the family was able to take a tour or there was a meeting held with representatives from the new school to help answer questions. Um, some examples could include May's Day, receiving informational packets about the new school, holding the transition IEPs, open house or parent information night. Uh, so just make sure that you're indicating what is it that you and, and the IEP team have done to help support any transitions that the student may be attending or going through. All right. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Have a good one.